you're wanting to win at all cost. You're wanting to win at all cost here. Three of Swords. Some of you guys, there's there's some hurt feelings in the mix of this. Some of you guys, like there's somebody here, like you, you're, you may be the one who's casting out this pain or this pain and suffering or however this goes. And it's not, it's not, I can't say it's not personal because it is personal. It's personal for you. Because I feel like you guys want to win at all costs because there's, it's like, collecting the chips here it's like some of you guys you've been collecting chips here like ious almost and i feel like it's your turn i feel like it's your turn to win here i feel like it's your turn to succeed here and i feel like you guys i feel like that's how you feel like it's your turn <laughs> Welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. I want to see, I want to see what's the energy currently surrounding you guys, okay? What's currently going on with my Virgos? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all of your comments. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload a new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy. Okay, guys, please remember, only take what's yours, leave everything else behind. If you guys would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, my loves, I do call in the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Let's see. Let's see what's going on with my Virgos. We have truth. We have truth here. There's some type of truth. There's some type of understanding that you guys are coming to right now, present moment. This is figuring out some type of truth or again, coming to some type of understanding. But this is truth seeking and this is truth speaking. So right now, present moment, you guys, overall energy is seeking the truth, speaking your truth, you know? But this is this is knowing. There's an all knowing here. Wow. Acceptance, oof. <laughs> you know, look at this overall energy truth, again accepting some type of truth here you guys overall energy starry night raven spirit a message either you're either you're sending a message or you're receiving a message this message could be spiritually this could be through a download as well or this could actually be some type of communication between you and someone here there's an acceptance here Whatever there was, whatever there was illusions, those illusions are ceasing to exist here because I see where she's outside of the fog, but there's something coming towards her in the fog, in the mist itself. So there's communication here in the midst. There's also some type of truth here that's in the midst right now, present moment. And someone has to accept this truth. There's an acceptance of the truth here. Hmm. I see this communication. I see this raven coming in with a message here. Some of you guys, this could just, this could be a download as well. Also, Spirit is saying for you guys to pay attention to your dreams here. Some of you guys, you could be have some, having some very intense dreams right now, present moment. Some of you guys could see ravens. Bottom of the deck, we have leadership, Stay, stag spirit. Stepping into leadership here, stepping into, as I look at this card, you're wanted. I feel like right now, present moment, there's an energy that's surrounding you guys, of you guys being wanted, you guys being desired for some type of position or some type of leadership or some type of role. Like you guys are being picked for a role. You guys are being chosen for a role here. You guys are being chased after or seeked 
for a role. Someone wants you to play a role in their life or someone wants you to play a role in their company here. Yeah, show me. Show me what's going on. What's currently going on with my Virgo spirit? Nine of Cups. Why is this Nine of Cups here? Two of Wands. Five of Swords. See, this is about not being not being fulfilled in whatever. There's there's something here where you're not fulfilled in your and there's a decision here where even if you're argue or even if you're arguing back or you're arguing even if you're even if you're being a little dramatic or a little messy with a situation here, you know there's an energy here of wanting to win at all costs, bringing conflict like shaking some things up. So I feel like some of you guys right now, present moment, shaking some things up and and people people have to accept your truth here people have to accept oh this is this is some honesty here this is you guys speaking your truth speaking a truth and and people have to accept it mm -hmm. people have to accept it here and the thing about it is with this nine of cups is telling me you're you're unsatisfied you're discontent you're not content right now present moment and you're making a decision right now, present moment, to cause a little chaos, a little conflict, a little drama. You want to win at all costs here. Yeah, two of swords. You know, this is about acting before thinking. Or, or acting, speaking without all the facts. Not knowing how this is going to turn out. Speaking a truth here. And not quite sure how this is all going to turn out. But you feel the need. You feel called and you feel the need to do this. Like you have to speak your truth. Yeah. Show me. Show me what's going on with my Virgo spirit. So we have the seven of pentacles. This talks about investing. If I'm going to be a part of this, this is the energy that I'm getting. It's like if I'm going to be a part of this, then we need, then we need to clear the air. I, we need to communicate. I need the truth, you know, because with the seven of pentacles, the seven of pentacles talks about you guys being patient, but it also talks about you guys planting seeds for growth here. And this is an energy here. If I'm going to be a part of this, if whatever this is for you, if you're going to be a part of it, you want the truth. You're going to speak your truth. And also people have to be accepting of it. People also have to be accepting of it here. Four of cups here. You know, that comes across as like complacency, stagnation, being in a situation that things you're not comfortable. You know, if, if I'm going to make myself uncomfortable, there's something here about you guys having to you're, you're in an uncomfortable situation here. And if you're going to make yourself uncomfortable. Yeah, there's something here that's very uncomfortable for you. What is this spirit? Show me so we have the four of cups you're over a situation see that four of cups is showing its face again you're over a situation you're bored and you are unsatisfied here of a situation and you're continuously investing your time and energy into this situation and there's an energy here of like you're bored you're over it here you're unsatisfied that's your truth and that's a truth that that's a hard truth that you have to accept and that somebody else has to accept. That's a hard truth. Nine of Swords. You know, this is this is stress, anxiety, nightmares, losing sleep here. Six of Pentacles, death. You know, Six of Pentacles talks about charity. Like being a charity case. Like giving. You know what I feel? I feel like this is like you guys consistently giving yourself to a situation or giving yourself to a person. You're giving, you're giving, and you're giving. And this is like, I'm done giving. Ten of Swords, the Magician, the World. 
Yeah, it's like I'm done giving. Like all of this giving that you're doing, it's causing you stress. It's causing you anxiety. You know, you're over it. You're not satisfied. This is not benefiting you, all this giving that you're doing. And whatever the situation is, whatever the situation is, show me. Show me what's going on with my Virgo spirit. So we have judgment, Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, energy, right and a wrong, righting a wrong here. Judgment, Scorpio, energy, this is rendering judgment here. You know, this is you guys rendering judgment or making a decision here because judgment comes through when there's like life, life decisions here. And it's coming out in the resistance here. You know, some of you guys, by you, bottom of the deck, we have the hangman, Pisces, energy. Some of you guys, by you either making a decision or revisiting something, like this is returning back to the scene of the crime. This is returning back to someone here. You know, this judgment in the resistance is a bad judgment call, a bad decision here that's been made. Or there's a ruling here. Or some of you guys, there may be a ruling here. There may be a ruling here that's costing you financially for some of you guys. You know, a divorce ruling, child support, child custody, alimony, you know, some type of civil suit or some type of judgment here that did not go in your favor here. Why do I feel like it's like feeling like you didn't fight hard enough or even counsel didn't fight hard enough here? But with this Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy, Scorpio energy coming through. Some of you guys, there's a, bad, there's a judgment call and you some of you guys are in financial, like, I don't want to say really and truly financial ruins, but you're having some financial difficulties right now, present moment. But with this Knight of Pentacles, this is telling me like you're no longer giving is truth be told almost as i just looked up and saw 11 11 like it's kind of like an energy here of somewhat truth be told knight of pentacles no longer giving no longer being the loyal friend the loyal lab here that type of energy is coming through you know making some bad decisions and bad judgment calls and you're over a situation right now present moment see all of this investing your time and your energy here with that judgment scorpio energy is you you may be a little slow to to understanding a little slow to getting the bigger picture here like you know th that type of energy is coming through because this is telling me like you were this knight of pentacles but now right now present moment is resisting here and now some of you guys there's a situation here that you are no longer investing in like you there's somebody here it could be another earth sign virgo taurus capricorn or a scorpio this person wants a second chance here the thing about it is you've already lowered your standards or made certain compromises certain sacrifices for this person you know and this person is coming towards you this is somebody here that like they they're not loyal they're not dependable you know, this person has their own issues that they have to, like, you know, this is somebody here that wants, they, they're coming towards you because they want something from you. They need something from you. But I do see with this four of cups, you're unsatisfied, you're over it. This person's not even entertaining anymore. This situation is not even entertaining anymore. Yeah, this person and or this situation is not entertaining anymore. The hangman Pisces energy. You know, we also have this Ace of Cups here. Some of you guys, you got new love here. Some of you guys, you got new love. Some of you guys, you got somebody from your past that you're reuniting with. Because I have, I see this Six of Cups. Some of you guys, there's somebody here from your past that you are reconnect, reconnecting with here. Yeah, show me. Show me what's going on. Show me what's going on with my Virgo spirit. So we have the Eight of Pentacles. You guys are hard working. Ten of Pentacles, okay. You you got you, you have a purpose here. There's a purpose. You've set your intentions and you've set your goals on something. There's a standard here for some of you guys as well. You know, you're hard working here. And I feel like it's it's like hard working trying to make your marriage work, trying to make your relationship work, 
trying to keep your family together. Also, for some of you guys, it's like trying to trying to buy something, trying to buy a home or trying to buy some property. You know, some of you guys, this talks about generational wealth here. This talks about generational wealth where you're trying to build something here. But somebody here, you're having to work hard because you know what? You weren't left anything behind. Like, you may have gotten screwed out of some type of inheritance here. You know, or you may have been not left with, you know, finances or however this goes. Or you may have left a career path or however this goes, but it's cost you financially. It's cost you financially. So right now, present moment, this is giving me an energy of you. You're having to work hard for what it is that you're trying to build and for what it is that you're wanting. You're having to work hard. And some of you guys are having to work real, real hard. Why? Is because you weren't wise with your money before. Somebody here, you could have actually gotten some type of inheritance or you should you could have actually gotten some type of lawsuit that was settled in your favor here, but you made some bad decisions here. You may have invested badly as well. You could have made some bad investments for some of you guys. Yeah, because I see that energy coming through. Show me, Spirit. Show me what's going on. I feel like a lot of you guys right now, present moment, where you're going is towards leadership. Where you're going is towards, see this inner strength? As I say this to you guys, we have the king of pentacles and we have the world here. Some of you guys, you're going to be like a leader within a company here and you're going to do a lot of traveling. Some of you guys, you may be re relocating, like moving to the whole nother, like from East Coast to West Coast or from West Coast to East Coast, however this goes. King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, energy, the world here. Like some, some of you guys, you are doing a lot of traveling for work or you're relocating for work. This is stepping into the unknown, stepping into, I don't know why I just heard the danger zone, like the Xander zone from uh, Xander Cage. It's like stepping into the Xander zone is what I was hearing. And it's one of those things. It's like going on this great big adventure. I feel like right now, present moment, a lot of you guys, like you're on this great big adventure, not really and truly knowing what's gonna what's around the corner for you. And there's an energy here of all you know is that you're going to work your ass off. All you know is that you're going to put in the work. All you know is that you're going to try to make this work. I feel like that's kind of that overall energy. Like that is somewhat of all that you know here. Yeah, three of swords. There's some of you guys, there's some fear here. Some of you guys, there's a cycle here that is closing out. The sun leo energy but this there's there's hope there is hope on the horizons here there is hope on the horizons i see you guys working really really hard i, I see you guys finding the inner strength here some of you guys you could really be in your ego right now present moment this is this, this comes from your hard work though you've worked to, for this status here and I feel like you guys are ready for new here. You're manifesting new here. And I see you guys moving forward here with hope. With hope here. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. You know, that sun talks about enlightenment, enlightenment and brightness, a bright future. Like truly feeling of a bright future here. You know, and with the temperance card here, you know, this really and truly talks about mo in moderation, truly in moderation, like everything in moderation here, like not overdoing it. That's kind of the energy, like balancing. I feel like right now, present moment, I feel like a lot of you guys, you're, you're trying to balance things out. There's a balancing act that's coming through here. Show me more. What's going on with my Virgo spirit? So we have the five of wands. You don't want, there's, 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 there's a lack of competition here. Like if you're dealing with, like if you're dealing with anybody that does any gossiping, any jealous, I feel like you guys are trying to stay somewhat drama free. 
I feel like you guys are trying to stay out of other people's mess, other people's chaos here. I do with that five of wands is coming out in the resistance, but also competition. Also competition here, four of pentacles. You know, what is it that you guys are holding on to nine of wands? The fact that you're going to win. You see, this, this comes through telling me that you guys are extremely confident right now, present moment. You guys are extremely confident right now, present moment, like feeling like you're not competing with anyone here, but also feeling like you're going to persevere. Also feeling like you're going to persevere. I feel like you guys are very controlling right now, though. I feel like there's a very controlling energy. Some of you guys, there's someone here that you are absolutely in love with. Hmm. There's someone here that you're absolute, absolutely in love with here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Some of you guys, this Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces is absolutely in love with you and holding on, yeah, to the Queen of Pentacles. So this is you holding on or there's someone here holding on to you. I have the King and the Queen of Pentacles coming through here. Some of you guys, you got more than one person here. Some of you guys, you do, you have more than one person here. But you see, I see some of you guys are dealing with the earth sign where you're actually finalizing, bringing things to an end with this earth sign. This has taken in inner strength. This has taken inner strength here. And I see where some of you guys, you're actually going towards a Cancer Scorpio Pisces here that's absolutely stuck on you. Some of you guys, you got more than one person here. I got three kings. Some of you guys, you got more than one person here that's that's absolutely fond of you, absolutely stuck on you. Some of you guys, you could be actually receiving some type of pay raise, an offer, a proposal. Could be from a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This could even be an offer of some type of settlement for some of you guys. Hmm. I feel like these offers that you guys have, I feel like it stresses you out. Like whether they're good or whether they're bad or whoever they're coming from, however this goes, I feel like those offers, the offers that you guys have been getting... It's pop. It's, I want to say it's like it's like it's too much, or it's like you got so much going on that it's just too much for you. Because I see a whole lot of offers here. It's like your guys are juggling a lot, and this is just not two cards fail. This is just not personally. This is professionally as well. We have the Empress and the Six of Cups. Hmm. This is showing me you guys are good parents. This is showing me that you guys, your kids, your kids are showing you love and appreciation right now, present moment. This is showing me that you guys are spending time with your kids. So this is also showing me like, this is like scrapbooking or like some of you guys are going to some type of activity for your kids or some type of sports ev events here. Your kids may be getting some type of award or something like that. But this is showing me you guys are a proud parent. This is showing me you guys, not only are you loving and nurturing, but this is showing me that you guys are proud parents here. The work that you put into your children, it's all paying off for you. Yeah. You're seeing growth. You are seeing growth some of you guys you're waiting you're waiting for growth this is like investing time and energy into your kids as education or sports so for their career here trying to see in, in wondering like i see somebody like pondering over what what's the return gonna be for all of the time and energy that they've invested into this child yeah show me more what's going on with my virgos page of wands you guys got some good news coming in seven of wands i see communication coming in the full aries energy could be somebody from somebody in the public's eye or a celebrity 
I see you guys getting a new offer here. I do. I see you guys getting a new offer that's coming in. Hmm. Some of you guys, this, ha this has to do with your craft. This has to do with your artistry. Like some of you guys could be in the public's eye or some of you guys could be a celebrity here. And I, or there's something here. Some of you guys could be musicians. Some of you guys could be actors. Because I see some of you guys could be art, art, um, artists as well. Somebody here could actually perform on stage like theater. I see an offer coming through. Yeah, show me more. Ten of Wands, Five of Swords. You guys want to win at all costs. Like, you want to be able to release some of the baggage, some of the burdens. Some of you guys, it's financial, financial baggage, financial burdens. So you need a new offer. You need a new opportunity. You know, you need a bump in pay. Like, there's a need for something. Why? Because you want to come out of this energy. And, like, there's an energy here of, like, I'll do whatever it takes to get this. Like, that type of energy is coming through. Like, you're, you're going to do whatever it takes because, you know, you have children here that you have to take care of. You have responsibilities here. You're trying to build something here. You've made some bad decisions in the past, and you've also made bad, bad investments here in the past. So right now, present moment, there's, there's people here that have to accept your truth. You have to accept the truth here. You're wanting to win at all cost. You're wanting to win at all cost here. Three of Swords. Some of you guys, there's, there's some hurt feelings in the mix of this. Some of you guys, like there's somebody here, like you you're, you may be the one who's casting out this pain or this pain and suffering or however this goes. And it's not, it's not, I can't say it's not personal because it is personal. It's personal for you because I feel like you guys want to win at all costs because there's, it's like collecting the chips here. It's like some of you guys, you've been collecting chips here, like IOUs almost. And I feel like it's your turn. I feel like it's your turn to win here. I feel like it's your turn to succeed here. And I feel like you guys, I feel like that's how you feel. Like it's your turn. Yeah. All right, my loves. That is what I have for you guys. If any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you have not. Until next time. Bye, guys.